Hi, my name is David Fleming from the Disciples Ignited YouTube channel where we are focused on Jesus, advancing his kingdom, and preparing his disciples. Now, we started this new series on the YouTube channel of Disciples Ignited called Bible Treasures, where we are helping you memorize scriptures and scriptural passages. You know, there is nothing that I have ever done in my walk with Jesus that has helped me more than memorizing scriptures that is outside of prayer. And I know that it is going to be a great way for you to grow closer to Jesus and to be strengthened in your walk with Jesus. So join with us every week because we're going to be memorizing a different passage every single week. And this week, we're memorizing 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 9 and 10. Now, as we get started, let's quote what we've learned so far. We've learned the first part of verse 9. Then he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Now what we're going to be memorizing today is the next part of verse 9, and it is Paul's response to this revelation that he has received from Jesus of why Jesus is actually not going to get rid of this tormenting spirit that is a thorn in Paul's flesh, but instead Jesus has said, instead I'm going to give you my grace because my grace is perfected in your weakness. Now how does Paul respond? Paul said, therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may rest on me. You know, when I first memorized this verse many years ago, it, it just gave me the thought of the Levites uh, who carried the Ark of the Covenant uh, throughout the wilderness. They put the Ark of the Covenant on this, um, this uh, carrier that had poles on it, and the Levites would pick up the poles and carry this Ark of the Covenant throughout the wilderness. Now, why was that important? Is because the Ark of the Covenant is where the glory cloud dwelt above. The glory cloud was where God's presence was physically manifest. It was God's glory. It was his power, his, his manifested presence. And when I thought about the Levites carrying the Ark of the Covenant that, that literally housed the glory cloud, I just thought, wow. They were literally carrying the glory of God. They were literally vessels of the glory of God. They were literally having the power of God resting upon them. And that hooked me. I thought, that's what I want to do. I want to carry God's power everywhere I go. And I know that's what you want to do too. But how do we do that? Well, we do that by being filled with God's grace because God's power is perfected in those who are weak and he gives grace to those who in their weakness call out for God's help. Is that what you're doing? Are you calling out to Jesus, Lord, I need help. I don't, I, I, I don't have the power, the ability. I don't have the strength to deal with this. Lord, I need your help. Well, that's the kind of prayer that Jesus wants to hear. And he's going to respond. And he's going to give you, many times, he's going to give you his grace. Now, sometimes the Lord just takes care of the situation and wipes out the problem. And, that, and we're so grateful when he does that. But there are other times that the Lord, instead of just getting rid of the problem, he gives us the grace to live through it, to deal with it. And that's what he did in Paul's case. And Paul rejoiced. He said, you know what? I'm so thankful for my weaknesses because my weaknesses have made me lean on Jesus all the more so that his power can reveal itself and give me that which I need to live victoriously through this situation. So memorize verse 9. Then he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. And we'll learn the rest of it over the next few days. See you then.